Ladies and gentlemen, Sides Drafe back with some more World of Tanks. And today, gonna start things out with the Centurion Mark 7 slash 1. Actually, I might stay in it for three rounds. We'll see. Uh, I'm noticing, though, I just actually reinstalled my Jimbo's Crosshair mod, but it is not working. So I might have to fix something with that. But I should be alright for this match. Not that big of a deal. Although I do miss my Jimbo mod. It is quite the bag of fantastic so anyway we are on this flank here we've got a piece of artillery and a yog panther 2 and it looks like we're gonna get swarmed by light tanks this could be bad and that was a miss and considering my reload time not fantastic there's that t21 trying to go for a ram there he's done Next target, T-50. They do have three pieces of artillery in the mix. Uh, uh, let's see if we can fall back and grab that guy. Okay, good job, Yag Panther. Uh, but now they've got an IS up front as well. And we're going to lose him, it seems. Come on, do your little peekaboo. That went into the dirt, unfortunately. Uh, we need to be careful just because that artillery might be... Wanting to finish things here. Yep, like I said, keep on the move. Grab some cover, hug the rock here. All right, we got a strong push on the uh, east there. So, and, well, we've got them by four tanks. So. I'd say generally this is going uh, in our direction, but. You never know. They still got some big boys over there. They've got some uh, big tank destroyers that are going to be camping in the background. All right, we've got this ELC AMX. He's going to scout out for us. And once he lights up a few targets, maybe we can see our next option. T oh, man, T95 is over there. Let's see what I've got. Okay, those guys are behind the rocks. Super Pershing. One goes into the turret. I'm relying on our team towards the east. Uh, what we'll do here is just try to hold the line. Keep them distracted while they get flanked by the, the bulk of our forces. He's just chilling. I got a track there, maybe. Tracked. I don't know if that helps the Panther out at all, but... Let's see. Oh! Frack. Um, I don't want to use my kit, but sometimes... I don't know. We're almost repaired. It's interesting. Artillery is worrying... Well, that guy, at least. At least one of their pieces of arty is worrying about us, and the others are probably trying to line up. It's hard to shoot at targets on that side, but... They're lit now. Artie's lit. Two pieces left. Scout might be able to take care of them. Okay. I'm going to try to... Nope. Couldn't light anything up with... The... Oh, there's the T-95. What's he looking at? Now he's taking hits. Good. We managed to at least scout him out. Oh, snap. Fall back. That's fine. Don't worry about it. He's pretty slow, so I'm not really afraid of that. Um, those could be famous last words, though. You never know. The thing is, if that artillery was gone, I could I could come around the back. But they're not. We are... Hello. Somehow capping. There goes the super Pershing. Oh, right behind me. Alright, here's what's going to happen. I already know that the T-95 is trying to make his approach. We're going to have to come up on this guy, though. T-95 is slow. There's that. Where'd the 95 go? Alright. 
Oh, he's coming back around. And let's come back this way. And see what happens. They're going to cap, though. Will he have been turned around by now? Let's see what he's got. Hmm. Well, let's see. Repair time versus his reload time. We're just going to cap. Darn it. I hate capping sometimes. Oh, did we leave the cap? All right. I'll, well, I don't know if I can draw him out. I'd like to, but I don't think he's going to come out. I don't think he wants to give chase. Oh, yeah, he does. All right. a track on him. Let's see if he wants to follow. There he is. Yeah. We've, uh, we're bringing him out for the artillery here. This is some little bit of teamwork. I'm going to try to light him up again. Peekaboo. He's falling back, though. So this whole plan is going to fail. We need one more tank just to, to help out. Let's see what direction he's facing now. If I can just try to get behind him, but he keeps turning around to the right point. Let's see if I can uh, see what he's up to. Oh, now he's on that side. If I had a kit... Oh, he's still taking damage. We've got an angle on him. Work on some track. Keep him tracked for the artillery. And then I'm sure he's probably used his kit by now, so I'm just going to try to go around him. All artillery works on him as well. Hopefully he hasn't turned around. There we go. Now we got him. I was just waiting for that right moment. Artillery finishes. <laughs> there we go. I had to annoy him a little bit. Ideally, I, I'm faster than him. He's like the slowest thing in the game. I could go around him, but... Um, if I'd have had the kit, I would have just taken the damage and then used the kit and then get around him and, and kept him. But... Uh, We allowed the, the artillery to have some fun as well. Okay. There's the Hummel. There goes the Hummel. That ammo rack. And that's it. Four. Not bad. Good game, everybody. Good uh, artillery support there. And GG. So... Good team effort. And uh, not a bad game at all. I will take that to the bank any day of the week. So, you know, what could we have done better on that one? Mm, you know, uh, I could have perhaps engaged the T-95 differently. Uh, you know, obviously you want to get behind him and just, you know, keep him stuck. Uh, you know, he didn't really have that much room to maneuver, but it seemed like every time I would try to you know, flank around him, he would be turned around. So I had to kind of track him to buy some time uh, and, and then realize, okay, he's probably used his repair kit by now and then try to get, but every time I'd go around that large rock, it was, it was still pretty difficult and I had already used my kit. So uh, plus with my tank not being the fastest medium on the planet, it wasn't always easy, but again, it was kind of fun. I mean, we, we bought time and we kept him pinned down. The artillery uh, was doing a good job at hitting him and everything as well. So that's cool. Works for me. Let's go do another one. Why not? Because I do love this tank. Again, I haven't been grinding all that much to get my tier 10 British medium. Um, I've just been kind of consumed with a lot of other projects and whatnot as well. Uh, Arma 3, of course, in full swing. Taking a good look at that. But um, still loving World of Tanks. It's still one of my 
my flagship titles, I think. It'll be interesting to see what happens uh, when War Thunder adds armored vehicles. Um, you know, a lot of people are curious about that. I get questions, you know, comparing War Thunder to World of Tanks, and it's, right now I can't compare them, because one's tanks, one's planes, uh, and World of War planes, I don't think holds a candle to War Thunder, so there's that, but, um, we'll see. The, the true comparison will be drawn when they add armor to their game. But, uh, you know, the, these guys at Wargaming have a giant head start. So, we'll see. But, in reg but <laughs> when it comes down to the, the fighter planes, wow, War Thunder is just dramatically, drastically better than World of War planes, uh, you know, from what I've been able to, to see and gather. So, I am choosing to uh, go with the hill here. Ah, oh, son of a gun. This guy ran into me. Moving my reticle. This guy is so toast. He is the toastiest of toast. Alright, let's, uh... Uh-oh. I have six. Uh... uh, they do have one piece of artillery. I don't know what he's going to be aiming at, though. I am thinking about my targets here. All right. Push up here. Again, you don't want to move in first. We want to let these guys push them and then go for our shots. I6 is getting cleaned up a little bit. Have the shot on that T69. Couldn't get the silhouette, but I had green, so sometimes you just gotta take the shot. Don't do anything until we've got that reload. Oh, you son of a gun! I6 somehow hit no damage on his flank. That's a bag of fail. Everybody's pushing in now, so we can, of course, try to move in a little bit, but it's kind of tight over here. Come in all the way around here. Angle that armor, get hull down. Don't give him anything to shoot at while we're reloading. It's pointless. M103 still in the back there. Where's he at? Right in the back of the turret there on that one. While they take out the guys cresting that hill. 103 is down. Got the uh, cowardly lion here. I'd be running too if I were facing all these guys. Oh, there's his friends. Hey, buddy. There's that lower glacius. In an attempt to set him on fire. Oh, there's a free arty kill for somebody. Now it's Blitzkrieg time. <laughs> what happened? Oh, what happened? <laughs> That's what happened there. The uh, Centurion, I don't talk about it a lot, but it is an amazing ramming tank. It rams very well. A lot of people don't ever actually realize that fact, and I haven't really covered it a lot, but... Um, it, it can ram with the best of them. Now, yeah, I was going downhill at some artillery, but I've faced, I've dealt with, uh, you know, some of the higher tier German mediums. And they'd come at me. The E, what is it? The E50, the E50M one time 
tried to charge me from a downhill position. And uh, not not an extreme downhill, but he tried to charge at me because because that's one of the best ramming tanks in the game, I believe. And he came at me not knowing. He's like, oh, this is just some British tank, whatever. I'll take him. He didn't realize that for some reason this tank is uh, pretty good at 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 you know holding its own in that kind of engagement. That didn't do anything. And uh, he ended up killing himself when he tried to ram me, and I typed to him, I was like, clearly you're not familiar with this tank. <laughs> Alright, so they've got a T95 and uh, an IS-3 over there. Let's see what direction they're looking at. But yeah, if you've got a Centurion, don't be in, in your... Like, I don't recommend ramming. It's usually a last resort. I think there's a weak spot right here. There we go. But you can ram the heck out of almost anything with this tank. Almost. Again, don't do it. It's a last resort, but it can be done. Oh, and uh, I guess that there was also an example for those of you that think that uh, you can't pen the front of a T95. Again, this lower portion here is usually where you want to hit it if you have to fire at the front. And, of course, it's going to depend on what kind of gun you've got. Move out of my way, buddy. There we go. Nice. Lovely. That's another good game right there. So, yeah, there's, 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 it's funny because there's so many things that this game has within it that you don't realize, you know, until you've played it for, you know, well over a year at times. It's these little things that you learn uh, about weak spots and, you know, durability, things like that. Uh, again, this is, a lot of people see this, oh, it's a medium tank, whatever, I'm just going to ram it, you know, things like that. It's heavy. Really, this is a heavy beast. Again, let's do that size comparison. Tier 10 American Heavy. British Medium. <laughs> Look how big this thing is. Oh, that's the Black Prince. But even the Black Prince, heavy tank. This thing is huge. And uh, because of that, it can actually ram with the best of them. But uh, one more. Let's do it. So. Knowing my luck... Had two really good games there. <laughs> we'll have to see what happens here. Uh, pretty well tiered as well, so that's fine. Really excited to get to that uh, tier 10, uh, the FV. But, uh, again, it just comes down to the, the money, and that's always where I've had problems. I, I do regret perhaps uh, buying too many other tanks on certain discounted uh, you know, events or holidays. Uh, I, you know, I want to try out different tanks and whatnot. I end up going down various trees, and if I would just stick to one tree and just finish it, I'd probably, you know, <laughs> have at least, uh, well, you know, I've got my American Tier 10 Heavy, uh, but I'd probably have had the FE some time ago. I always like to go this direction. This guy says, I prefer rushing and win. Okay. Grammar much? But, uh, there's that. We got Patton. Ice 8 Tiger P coming to back us up a little bit here. Uh, looks like we have a decent split in regards to the team. Taking a look at the minimap. Now, ideally, at this particular point in time, I will uh, hang out here for a little bit just to check for in incoming targets. Uh, there's there's one light. We are lit now, so we want to be careful. They do have some artillery that could come in this route. Or fire, at least. Uh, we're going to protect the flank of that assault force.
You need to make sure that nobody comes in through this route. That's my job for now. As everybody else is going... All the way up. Now we saw... What did we see? A light and that T-54? Or was it just... I think... Yeah, okay. Alright, so we've got some contacts here. That's a tough shot. But we make it. See that? That's that British accuracy that I'm always talking about. We are lit, though, so we need to be careful. But uh, I'm kind of on, on guard duty here. Watch it. T-25AT. I am loaded, but he's looking at me. He's going to pull back, though. That would have been a nice shot on him. Now, if they decide to rush me, though, see, here's a problem. Tiger 2 looks like he's going to go reinforce the other side. There's that KV-4 that we had hit. I don't have a gun depression right now. So, I am kind of exposed here. I think they're focused on something else. Uh, Tiger 2 is moving up. And... Not he's okay, so he's looking the other direction. That is just a terrible shot there. I'm not gonna take it. Just barely a bit of his cupola, you know? So uh now I think he's Alright, now he's wondering about where I'm at. That there we go, right in the side of that turret. Ow. T25 AT. So this guy knows that I'm here, and he's like, you know what? Sit down. Bugger off. Alright. He's like, yeah, on second thought, maybe not. He got a little cocky. He thought, okay, I'm gonna go get this guy. Alright. Uh, Tiger 2 is down. And what do we got? This 25 AT is like, I am out of here. He's leaving. He's bailing. He's uh, deserting his friends at this point. Uh, we've got a KV-4 here. And artillery looks like it's throwing some rounds at me. Three, okay. Black Prince, I could use some backup here. I'm just going to throw that down on the map to notify people. that We are having some problems on this uh, flank. If I get overwhelmed, that's not good. So you can see there, uh, at this particular point in time... I may need to do a strategic retreat because we've got uh, units coming up from that side as well. There's one down, a T-54. Um, where's that Black Prince? I could use his help. We have the Super Pershing. Oh, I just missed that Leopard. That would have been a one-shot. Not that that thing should be able to do a whole lot. Uh, we need some backup here. Try to angle this. This guy's got some stubborn armor at times. I don't really have... See, I don't want to give him too much of my side here. Uh, let's see. See, if I can give him my turret like that... Problem is that, and what else is firing at us? Patton. I'm going to use this guy's for, uh, body for cover. We're going to go ahead and bring the gunner back to life. Patton's behind the rock. And the leopard is not a threat, so... That's a super... Okay, never mind. Good job, GW Panther. Excellent. Good. We got some good artillery players once again, and... Another pretty decent game. Leopard manages to stay alive for the duration. Uh, you know, and <laughs> there he goes. Another shot. Good job, Artie. Uh, wow. Three fantastic games in a row, in my opinion, there. Um, we had some good teammates as well.
Special thanks to, you know, all these uh, people that I've been playing with. Uh, some really good artillery on our team. You know, if, if artillery can take out two targets, uh, there they had, I think, uh, two between them. Actually, three on the Hummel, two on the GW Panther, and then good job on these AMX 1390s, uh, probably the guys that were talking about rushing. So, you know, it paid off for you in that case. Uh, so, you know, well done. But, um, you know, I had some really good teammates as well, so it's not always just about what I do. But, uh, but yeah, uh, I, as you can see there, maintained a defensive position protecting a crucial point. They could have filtered through there, flanking uh, the Super Pershing and whatever forces we had on the other side, but I kept them at bay uh, long enough, and uh, it worked out. So, you know, sometimes you have to sacrifice your enjoyment for the betterment of the team. Set yourself up in a good position to protect the weak spots. And and one tank can hold down a lot. Um, you know, you don't have to be in a heavy. You just have to have the accuracy and a good gun to keep them on their toes. Keep them thinking, oh man, what's over there? Sometimes you're camoed up and they don't see what's hitting them. Keeps them scared. They want to stay back. They want to, you know, hide. And that buys time for the rest of your forces to push forward or move into position to assist you. So there's so many psychological things at play here. And... Uh, you know, there just by keeping myself at that one spot, and then we had the other guys driving in the other side, even though they got you know, uh, you know, pushed back. They they got cocky towards the end there and just decided that they were going to rush. But again, like that T fifty four, he's like, "Oh, I'm going to get you." He just rushes in, wasn't aware uh, of my position. Boom, gets slammed in the side, and that was it. Tactics, ladies and gentlemen, that's that's what it's all about, and that's what I've been. You know, trying to talk about since day one. Again, this was like probably the best example, <laughs> uh, you know, of what I've been preaching for for you know a long time. Uh, you know, fantastic three games in a row. There doesn't happen all the time. Sometimes I, I I'll have three horrible games in a row, completely the opposite of what just happened there. So again, I'm not trying to say I'm amazing or whatever, but this was just a good example of my tactics actually working. Uh, not going to happen all the time. You're not going to always get the good team. You could be on the other teams that we just faced, and that's just the luck of the you know the dice there. So that is that. So anyways, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you've enjoyed this look at the Centurion Mark 7 slash 1 and World of Tanks. I will definitely see you on the next one.